just made this whole recording and forgot to push the record button. <laughs> so this is take two. Um, what I've done here is I've taken this uh, mesquite charcoal. I uh, bought this bag for about $14. Uh, it's 100% natural hardwood mesquite charcoal. And uh, I broke it up and I um, put it in this uh, pot, net pot, and then I just rinsed it out by the up and down motion here. Let me see if I can get this out. Now, I can actually see all the way down to the bottom of that bucket, and there's only been about three or four rinses on this. Um, so I am amazed at how clean this stuff is. I, I just never would have imagined that you could run your hands through it like this. And sure, you get a little little bit of flakes, but that's not really staining my hand. It's, that's just flakes of charcoal. Um, so I'm pretty happy with this idea. Uh, from what I've read up on biochar, uh, this is supposed to be just an absolutely amazing media. It's been used for thousands of years. You can read up more on the biochar on a post that I made um, recently uh, called Biochar, where I've uh, got several videos about the benefits <coughs> and how to make it. So this is the first uh, video. I'll uh, keep it updated. Um, I'm going to put this uh, in my grow room. This will not have fish in it. It's going to. It'll only have. Uh, I'm just going to use pea ponics, you know, hum humonia, and um, as the nitrification uh, begins to um, settle in, uh, it'll begin to make my make nitrates for the plants, and uh, we'll just see how well the plants grow in this bucket. Okay, I'll talk to you later.